Folks, thanks for joining us today. My name is John Dubas with Premier Marketing. and We'll be spending the next 50 to 60 minutes discussing the portfolio opportunities you have with us here at Premier. It will be somewhat of a high level presentation and we will refer back and forth to our website as well for some of the specifics on some of the carriers and the programs that are there for you. Uh, but we wanted to give you an overview so you have this particularly in light of some of the recent activity in the Medicare arena where many of our agents are active, um, but also in the other areas to give you an idea of some of the cross-selling opportunities and the programs that are in place to help you become the subject matter expert for your prospects and your clients. Today's presentation is being recorded and it will be sent to those who have RSVP'd to today's webinar but we will also post it on our website at premiersmi.com and on our YouTube channel. That link will be sent to you, as I mentioned, by email as well. Uh, we ask that you look at the software system for today's presentation and note that there are two different areas for feedback from you. We ask that you place your questions in the questions box. Since today is more of an overview and I'm gonna give that to you. We, we need specific feedback from some of the subject matter experts in the different areas, and we'll make certain that we get that for you. Um, we also want to make certain that you're aware of the fact that today's presentation will also give you some of the answers that you may be looking for as so a why premiere, and we wanna make certain that you have that detail. An overview of our organization is we are a national marketing organization founded in 1968. That's part of the Integrity Marketing Platform with offices across the country licensed in all 50 states. We offer insurance programs through independent insurance agents and agencies such as yourself. And we do so at the highest possible commission levels with recruiting contracts available to those who qualify. That portfolio is a comprehensive one. We handle the base medical for the Medicare programs with the Medicare Advantage, Medicare Supplement, and the prescription, D, or prescription drug plans, the Part D programs. But that also comes with an opportunity to look at some of the full portfolio of life insurance, life insurance and annuity products, including final expense life insurance, pre-need plans, but also short, long and short-term care programs, disability income, and ancillary benefits as well. Those include the dental vision hearing programs, critical illness, cancer plans, hospital indemnity programs, accident and telehealth programs as well. You'll note that in different areas, different people have age requirements for some of these programs or other type of health circumstances. And we'll make certain that we're able to cover the spectrum of the folks that you visit with. So when we look at the portfolio that we have to offer here at Premier Marketing, we base a lot of the activity on some of the well, pure demographics that are out there. In the Medicare space, it's a huge opportunity where if you look at the aging in of the population with the silver tsunami, the aging of the baby boomers, one every 10 seconds, one every well, 10,000 plus a, a day, well, some of those folks are working past the age of 65, so that number skewed down a little bit, but there's also that 15% of the Medicare population under the age of 65 accessing those benefits through disability. And they have different challenges with their health and their income. We wanna make certain that we're able to handle the entire spectrum in that area. Many of the programs that we speak of today, however, so more into an overall population uh, market, and that includes a whopping 331 million plus people. Now, obviously, the number of them are children, and there are other folks that may or may not be eligible for programs in your sp specific target market, but it's a huge opportunity for us, and we wanna make certain that we are enabling and supporting that effort because the choices that are out there, even in the Medicare arena, well, they're vast. And we wanna make certain that however a person decides to cover their situation, we have programs in place that help them 
and we do so because the spectrum demands it. We want to make certain the products are there based on the individual's need and opportunity, and we communicate that with them, particularly in our space, with a definition of what those acronyms are. And I think that's some of the things that we overlook many times when we look at the entire population is the fact that, well, each industry has their own language in a manner of speaking, but within our industry, there's a ton of these acronyms that may or may not be familiar to an agent or an agency if they're working in a niche market, I'll put it that way, not really fair, but what does that mean? And sometimes these guides can be very helpful for you. This is gonna come as part of the follow-up to you as well. In the Medicare arena, people have an opportunity to, to monitor their plans, make the changes annually. You don't see some of that same review coming in some of the area, other areas, but they're not doing it. And so we wanna make certain that we protect the vulnerable population with annual reviews. They understand what's going on within the space. Uh, Part B premiums in our world took a historic jump for 2022, and that information may or not, may not be in the latest version they have of their Medicare and U book, which is sent to them by uh, the U.S. Postal Service or electronically, depending upon how they do it. They're not accessing, accessing the information even on some of the electronic pieces. Well, some of them don't have access, and the information that's out there by the government, they're looking, not looking at that either. So however we do this, we want to make certain, however we do this, however we come up with our marketing approach, we want to make certain that we're able to do things virtually and in person, and we have the electronic support to do that for you. Um, with a lot of the activity based on some of the senior population in our world, we want to make certain that they're comfortable with this, which they're becoming much more comfortable with. and the cross-selling aspect really drives up our retention the persistency of the your book of business. Now this, we look at the number of policies that are in a household, well, they don't have to be with the same company, they just have to be with the same agent and that's you. And we hope today by looking at some of this information, you're going to see, well, I can do that fairly easily. That also gives us the opportunity to deal with the folks that may be in the health marketplace, and wondering how they're going to deal with Medicare now that they're Medicare age or they're approaching it. We got that detail for you too. And how you can go about doing that on a year round basis. Because we find that the vast majority of people on Medicare, well, they'll qualify for one of these programs throughout the year because of those SEPs, even though they're technically locked into their coverage uh, for the calendar year. That program, when we speak, in my world, since I'm a Medicare guy more than anything, is the fact that you have a full portfolio of products that can really help you in your target market because it has the national leaders, but many of the strong regionals for you. This is an area where many of the agents will look at this as a great means of doing business, particularly just in this space, but we want to make certain that we cover the prescription drugs for the standalone because well, for many folks, Medicare supplements is still the proper choice as well. And contracting with these programs are pretty simple. You have some different things that you can go through in this area that you have to complete, annual certifications and some things of that nature, and different restrictions that you have when you market from in the Medicare supplement space. But across the board, these give you opportunities to speak to people perhaps that are in uh, an area that might be for a final expense agent, a life insurance agent, or for some of the other people that may be marketing just certain segments of our industry, hence the need for today's presentation, because it gives us the opportunity to speak to the fact that one size doesn't fit all. You may have different people that uh, need different things, some won't, and you may have the opportunity of marketing in a different space because of those differences. And there are trainings out there that can really help you. Based Medicare trainings, a ton of them that we'll talk about later today. So when we speak to the space that's out there in the Medicare world, there are certain segments that quite frankly, Medicare doesn't cover. Many folks aren't aware of that fact. And 
that gives us the opportunity to address those needs across the board. Many people think that, well, gee, Medicare and you, it's going to tell me everything I need to know about everything, and I'm not going to read it anyway. So when I pass away, if I don't have life insurance, what am I going to get paid? Well, Medicare will take care of that. No, they won't. Final expense? No, they won't. Long-term care? No, they won't. Dental vision hearing plans? Uh, not really. So we want to make certain that we go through and we use some of the tools, if you're in the Medicare space, that can help us walk into these other discussions. A generic scope of appointment that's necessary to discuss Medicare and PDP programs. Yeah, there's an acronym, PDP, prescription drug plans. Uh, that scope of appointment can lead to other discussions fairly simply, particularly in our space, because that sets up the opportunity to discuss it. You've planted that seed and a great way to go through different areas, including prescription drugs. Because a lot of folks think, oh, that's covered. I don't have to do anything extra. Well, yeah, you do. If you don't, you're penalized. So moving beyond that, look at some of these programs that many people will assume that Medicare takes care of, and they don't. It gives us talking points for some of these other programs that are available for us. Uh, the ancillary programs, boy, big things pop up right away in the dental vision hearing world, but you get beyond that, and a lot of people will assume long-term care is covered by Medicare. Uh, no, it's not. And so what do we need to do? Let's look at some of those opportunities. This area, very common demand product. We use it a lot as a walk-in type of program to help market, particularly this past AEP, we saw so many commercials on television speaking about all-in-one plans. It's free, everything you're entitled to, money back to your social security account. Well, they don't go into the fact that the, the fact that the dental programs that they speak to may or may not be in a particular market. And we have the opportunity to address them and the tools to do so electronically as well because that's a, a big area of need in ancillary products. You hear a lot of that about dental vision hearing programs. Uh, Humana runs an ad on TV about dental programs, but in each of these spaces, we have the, the leaders in those areas for you. And it can be very, very helpful both as a marketing tool and to create additional revenue streams for your agency, not to mention, covering the need of our prospects and clients, which is out there. And it's one of the main reasons we're in the business we're in. One of the big things though, that's a common misconception is long-term care. And we have a terrific long-term care department that we will be uh, sending out some specifics for you in uh, later, later presentations that can help you in this area. In my, hello, even want to admit this, uh, close to 35 years or plus uh, in the insurance world, I've sold a long-term care policy or two. It is an area, however, that we have experts within our organization that can help you. Katie Novotny is the bomb. We're going to put it that way. And it can really help you in a natural progression of discussing these needs. And since many of the long-term care programs are fairly cost prohibitive in certain areas for certain people, or people may not have uh, the underwriting capabilities or enough carriers to, 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 to accommodate their needs. We want to make certain that you're aware of the ways that the ways that we can address this. And by doing so, some of it is, well, simple fact finding. So you have some fact finders in place that can help you in this area and it's a really bit of a Columbo close for many agents. I'm revealing my age there, but in an old series here with Peter Falk where he had that one question when he hit the door. And you can use this type of approach for cross-selling in a number of areas. If you are uh, a long-term care specific type of agent where you go out and search for this business as your main marketing thrust, it's, well, we discussed your long-term care pro programs. By the way, 
how are you covering your final expenses? Or, gee, who do you have your dental coverage with? Or, have you had your Medicare supplement reviewed? Some simple things of that nature can really help um, you become involved in multiple areas just by remembering to ask that one more question. Uh, the guides that the government puts out there about long-term care services and supports can be a great third-party influencer in addition to the fact that it gives the detail for the individuals as to what is or isn't covered. In our world, Haiti has a number of different programs that are in play for you. In the long-term care uh, policy areas, I can testify to the fact that my policy is no longer available, no longer offered by the carrier I have the program with on an individual basis. And the cost has gone up. And underwriting has become fairly restrictive. There are a number of folks, however, where that is the proper route to take. But we find in this arena, Katie speaking to not only these programs, but short-term care programs that might be easier to qualify for and a bit easier uh, to pay for and an area where you can get to them by multiple carriers. So uh, an, an opportunity to look at this on a long and short-term care basis, but many of the programs that are discussed nowadays are hybrids. Um, where they have long, uh, life insurance and long-term care capability, different programs there where um, we stage regular presentations that can help you with the differences in these areas or with specifics about a certain carrier. And our organization is really well set in delivering these programs to you simplified and give you the opportunity to also speak to the fact that, hey, what do I do to have to qualify to sell these? Is it just contracting? These two have some prerequisites when it comes to um, continuing education and the education that you need to do in order to get into the programs up front. And that includes programs that can address some of the shortfalls in SNF. And when we get into life insurance, a lot of folks will say, well, hey, if nothing else, the government will pay to bury me. Well, no, not so much. $255 benefit that's harped on on TV as well. And that's only if you qualify for it. So depending upon the individual's needs and what they want to leave behind, not only address the basic necessities of covering debt, which may be best accommodated by a final expense policy or because people get into other situations where they have uh, an opportunity younger to look at these programs, obviously, because these aren't just for the Medicare population. Uh, you have children policies, you have child policies, you have a number of different opportunities to market across the board here. And sometimes that's just how do I get these people covered? And this can help you because our life department is very good about helping with the underwriting portion of it as well, and a large portfolio of products that can help you in this space. Depending upon the need of the individual and what is best for them, you've got a number of different types of life insurance that can come into play. And one of the things that you'll find is our life department is very good about addressing what type of program might be best appropriate for your prospect and client? And within that area, what carriers do you have the greatest support, latitude, choices, whatever it happens to be with these individuals? And that is a very, very important portion of making certain that we cover this aspect of their life as well. Sometimes the, the obvious question is how much do I need? The life insurance needs calculators can be very helpful in that area as well, but that brings about the thought that we need to speak to the different portions of, of, of a person's lifestyle and how that can be best accommodated by a thorough examination of their needs and help dictate what the maximum or what the appropriate, I should say, 
amount of life insurance is necessary for that individual and how can they qualify for it or what age is uh, helping us dictate what might be the best solution for them. So you have different quote requests that can be handled by the uh, department, this department, and how you can get these people underwritten as well. When we speak of the final expense area, you've got a number of different choices based on a person's health circumstance as well, uh, depending upon if they can uh, pass underwriting or not, and how you can also address different things in the pre-need arena, where when you deal with different uh, funeral homes, whatever you want to call them now, uh, sometimes they really can benefit from pre-need programs in addressing those needs too. But us as insurance agents, we need to look at, do we need to cover just their final expenses and some of the um, outlying needs that they have there when it comes to debt that might be in play? Or do we need to go into uh, life insurance programs that would be more appropriate for a higher debt amount? In the final expense arena, they've got some really cool marketing programs that can help you. The Legacy Safeguard Program helps with a sales system that basically, through a conversation, setting up an individual's uh, wishes for the future. I'm actually doing it for myself as well. Uh, and programs that are aimed at some of the population our Medicare folks address every day with postseason game plan. Big thing now for post AEP that can really come into play and different programs that are out there to help support efforts in that area. Same type of mentality when you get into the annuity folks and how some of this can be helpful for you. The, the ARC system, Annuity Resource Center, is a valuable resource for anybody in this arena. It's got a ton of different material in there that can help you with custom brochures, uh, specialist support, things that, of that nature. We're once again speaking to the individual about what they have and what they don't and what they're looking for, their plans for now and in the future. This addresses people across the spectrum of ages and speaking to them about their needs is paramount for success in this arena and is the marketing support through this system where these specialized brochures, custom brochures are yours uh, for your use through this system. And of course, because of the differences in the annuities that are being offered, we want to make certain that we have someone we can talk to as well, be it verbally, text, whatever it happens to be in that space online uh, to get the answers we need on an ongoing basis. It gives us then the comfort of knowing that we are doing the best for our prospects and clients in this space. Tons of training videos that can be very helpful for you as well. Uh, those marketing boost programs can be a great way to reach out to greater amounts of people in this arena too. So we wanna make certain that that's available for you. Wanna make certain that you can see some of the detail within this system and how you can teach yourself to a degree or learn more about this arena, this portion of our space and make it work for you. Great way to get leads. Uh, best fits, because remembering we don't want to put all our eggs in one basket and make certain that we can do what's best for our folks. But let's take a peek at the website and how this can be helpful for you as an ongoing resource across the board of the programs that are being offered for us. So in addition to the grand cornfields that we got working there in the area, it's going to give you information about us, and the different space uh, products in the space that we concentrate in that can be very helpful for you. You have the opportunity to look at some of the different resources that are available for you in the Medicare world. Our Medicare Center program, we'll discuss in a little greater detail in a little bit. And that's an awesome resource for, for people that are active in that space. And you have the different quoting tools for the different programs right there available for you. 
lead programs. We're going to talk about those in greater detail in a bit. But you got the back office support that can help you across the board. If you're looking to contract in different areas that you aren't familiar with, um, how do you get supplies? How do you process business? Boy, how do we get paid? And what are you guys doing to keep me in front of people and do so compliantly? So that's going to be information all available on our main pages. When you look at the different products, you can go into these different areas. And let's let's pop one here that we didn't really highlight in some of the other areas. Bear with me a moment. When you get into the annuity space here that we didn't cover with some of the different carriers, you have that carrier list available for you. You got the different incentives and in the programs that come into play, but this will give you detail on the options that are available. If you're looking for a particular company that you've done business with in the past or you look to do business with in the future, these are there for you. Obviously, speaking to the people in our company that concentrate on this area, they're going to give you some hints and tips as to what, what might be the most appropriate carrier for you to accommodate the needs of the people that you're marketing to. Or if you have a specific case in place now, that's going to help you make certain that you have what you need to address the needs of your prospects and clients too. You've got the different incentives and the ability to contract right then and there too. This gives you that information that we did the overview of, of the annuity resource center. You got the rate and tool guides there, industry standards, and it's going to give you detail of the different annuity types right there for you too. That back office support, something that we talk about across the board with the different products that are out there. Um, some of the different things that come into play too when it comes to the su overall support, that's all there for you right here in this area that can really give you some different detail and we can speak to how you can cross sell in these different uh, our parts of our industry too. Great way to keep up with some of the in industry news in our area, but it's also going to give you this. And I think this is one of the things that, well, it's one of the strengths of our organization is the different support teams that are there for you. If you look at this in space, you've got a number of programs that are there to help you in the senior space. The support teams are there for us to make certain that once your contract's in play or prior to with the contracting and new business area, that we look to make certain that you have the people to talk to in these different areas. That's a huge advantage when you have some of the tenured and experienced people that we have working for our organization, working for you across the board in these different programs. So you have the opportunity then to speak to people live, and they'll go into the different areas that are there for you. So when we look at, let's go up a little space here. You got the people that are at the top. You got the folks in the, the Medicare space. You got uh, a number of us that are there for you. Final expense area. These people are tenured. They know what they're talking about. They can really be a help to you to market successfully in this area. The folks in the annuity uh, department, well, you want to talk about people that know what they're talking about. Uh, Brad is an over has oversight for a number of different departments. Shad and Shay, they know what the, the deal is in the annuity arena. You speak to some of the traditional life products there. You've got a number of other individuals that can really, once again, help you identify products and programs and carriers that can help accommodate your needs for your prospects and clients. Long and short-term care, we talk, uh, I referenced Katie here earlier in the presentation. You want to talk about people that know what they're talking about. That's the people in long and short-term care. Support team, great people. They're there in the offices that have a tenured experience and really help us walk through uh, the different needs once a program's in place. 
contracting. We're a big organization. Everybody can say that on the internet. I'm a big college football recruiting uh, advocate. I don't know. I'm hooked on it. And it's amazing how someone will be out there and say they're 6'4", 250, and I can run a 4'240". You can be whatever you want to be on the internet. My reference here is the fact that these people are actually real, there for us to help us. And you can see by the number of individuals that come into play there, there's a lot of business rolling through. You got people that really know what they're talking about. And we can make certain that your needs are accomplished, actualized, and that you're paid for it. Look at these people. Matt does a great job of making certain that the, the information is available for you. If you ever happen into our home office in Norfolk, you're going to run into, pardon me, I'm flying past that. Two of the nicest ladies that you'll meet up front in our reception area. Get some folks that help you keep, make certain that you don't have those vector hits. And if you do, how you can clean them up and do so across the board legally and compliantly. So you've got the people there that are able to help you in each of those in spaces that we offer the programs and make certain that we accomplish our shared needs. Because frankly, nobody makes money any money if we can't accommodate the needs of our prospects and clients. You'll also find that there's a space for agents such as yourself, a contract with our organization to get specifics online through the agent portal that's available to you um, within our organization. So when we speak to that fact that these programs across the board can really influence the effectiveness of each other because we're hitting hot buttons that are one of the ways that people will raise their hand for one reason or another. And if that's not our main thrust in the world, well, how can we go about using that to sell business across the boards? You got a number of programs out there that are going to help you do it. There are some programs that you can cold call for uh, with robo dialing and uh, everybody knowing who you are when you call before you answer. I don't take a lot of calls that I don't recognize the number or I know it's a spam or whatever else, but you'll find that in certain areas, this is still effective. And we have to make certain, however, that in those areas we're doing so compliantly because you can't cold call for MA or PDP programs, acronyms, Medicare Advantage, or prescription drug plans, but you can for just about everything else. And how do we go about and do so effectively? We want to make certain that your list is appropriate, that it's butted up against the do not call list. We're staying in line with what we can and cannot do. And sometimes that's dictated by the type of program that's out there. We also have those different areas that can help you with community-based programs. We had a webinar last week that addressed folks in the financial advisor arena that do a lot of business by seminars. And gee, so do agents in other areas as well, based on the product and the programs that they're offering. But how can you do that if you don't have a, not really, a, well, yeah, a script, a track to follow? We offer those across the board in the different programs. And you'll find that it will help you in maximizing the value of your efforts in other areas um, because you can be really, really flexible in how one of these programs will lead you into a discussion with another. A lot of folks in the Medicare world are active in the retail marketing arena. And this includes Walmart, CVS, all those Kroger's, all these different programs that are very, very active in the annual election period. But many of those can be available throughout the year. Sitting in a retail establishment won't make you successful. We want to make certain that you have the detail that can maximize the return on that effort. And that enables you then to reach out into the community that's your target market and address areas that, well, maybe they're not responding 
to all those 90 million commercials we saw on television or the direct mail or a call campaign or whatever it happens to be, but they do respond to centers of influence in the community. And that includes where they celebrate or work with their faith-based brethren, have different tracks for you to follow there in the different portions of our industry, but also through providers that give you an opportunity that if you're a life insurance agent, well, gee, sometimes these providers are higher income, they may need my help. And working through those individuals, through one of the other programs might be the way to open the door to that area. Some of the carriers do offer direct assistance. We see that in the Medicare space with Medicare Advantage and PDP offerings, um, particularly for those folks that have worked with those carriers. They may have lead programs throughout the year, some may not. But you see in the other portions of our industry that we briefly touch on today is in the, some of the other spaces, well, you have leads that are targeting that area and can be very helpful for you. Of course, we have social media programs that uh, we'll address in just a moment, but that is a more of a microwave way of getting some leads quickly if you can respond to them quickly as well, because it's it's a uh, firewood that flares up really quickly and cools down very quickly, and you want to make certain that you're getting the value out of that too. Tried and true lead programs through asking for referrals. A neat piece that we have is how you can do so without appearing like uh, a used car salesman, no offense to used car salesman, or the reference that I usually use dates myself, but it's Herb Tarlick from WKRP where you're in the plaid jacket and you get that feeling he's gonna whip open that coat and say, hey, you wanna buy a watch? Well, we wanna make certain that you are comfortable with asking for referrals and doing so properly as well. And then of course we do have direct mail support. When we look at the contact lists that are available, these are available to you at low cost or no cost, depending upon your mar or your marketing arrangements with us. But it is with things that are, well, gee, depending upon where you buy them, there might be other agents buying that same list as well and distributed multiple times. So there are folks being touched multiple times. That can help you determine what product you're gonna approach them with. Because if they do answer your phone, that first 15 seconds is crucial. And we wanna make certain that we're using programs that can hit their hot button. And we're doing so once again, compliantly. Those provider marketing pieces, very, very active in handling the patient base that they have. But there are also approaches directly to the provider themselves, especially in the long and short-term care arena, Long-term care insurance with providers, doctors specifically, sometimes they may be very dated programs they took out early in their career that need updating. So it can address long-term care, can address life insurance, a number of different areas in the provider marketing aspect that gives you an opportunity to reach these individuals for uh, accommodating their needs as well. And that includes providers beyond doctors. Those carrier leads that I mentioned, um, that is a quid pro quo in many cases. You gotta scratch their back, they're scratching yours. We wanna make certain that those are handled properly for you. Internet leads, you guys have probably been bombarded as well by email requests for, hey, we've got great programs here that can help you. Some of them are very, very effective. And with many of these programs across the board, it deals with consistency. And so we wanna make certain that we're utilizing programs on an ongoing basis, budgeting for that to make certain that we're getting full value out of what we're doing. It's much like an exercise program. You do it once, sometimes you get some sort of response, but you feel the pain. You do it consistently, consistently that's where you see some of the best response by establishing your name. And particularly if you're working a certain geographic space, which many people have obviously expanded that paradigm, that opportunity to go 
to folks across the board in an electronic basis. Well, you can use different programs with this to help generate the type of leads that you want. Much as where today's presentation is being recorded, as I mentioned at the start, you can also find uh, the recordings on our website and on our YouTube channel. This gives you an opportunity to look at programs that, hey, I talked to this guy about life insurance, but he's really concerned about long-term care. How can I go about quickly accessing some resources? And it's nine o'clock at night. Premier people are really hard workers, but they're shut down by nine o'clock at night. Go here, you can see some short-term care programs. You see long-term care space. You can look at different life insurance presentations, a ton of things that we do in the Medicare space, marketing across the board. They're there for you 24 seven. That Medicare Center tool, this can be a very valuable resource for people that may not concentrate on the Medicare space, but they want the quoting tools available for them. Three programs available through a universal login that are powered by Connexure, Sunfire, and CSG, covering the spectrum of the Medicare beneficiaries and doing so compliantly by collecting and storing that scope for that required 10 year period. Why is this helpful in other areas? Well, the people that you quote through this system or have in this system are part of your CRM that's available without cost. And it gives you the opportunity to leverage that knowledge for programs throughout the year. Very, very helpful because within this space too, not listed here, is the resource that can help you with different uh, sales scripts, other things that can um, make you more familiar with an area that you may not be as comfortable with. And it'll help you cross sell a great piece in there that can add to the programs they may already have in place that you can't change because of the not availability of a set. Not too often, but more often by the fact that, hey, I did actually review this in the fall. I'm comfortable with what I've got. So why are you talking to me? Well, you got the holes in those coverages as well that you can cross sell by using this program. Once again, crucial in driving up our salaries. Hey, what are you talking about? I'm, pure, I'm straight commission. Yeah, but your renewals count as your salaries. And once again, more of them stay on the book, the more policies that you have in the household. When we speak to those mail programs, you've got a couple in place that are for the health arena and for final expense. So you can qualify basically for 2,000 pieces of mail based on production at deeply discounted rates. We saw another postal increase this past year. And whatever else you can say about direct mail, well, it still works. It's like the line from one of the Monty Python movies, I'm not dead yet. It works if you do it consistently. Utilizing these vetted lead vendors because of the CRM systems they put in play for you so you can access these leads immediately when they come back, it really can help you um, maintain a constant flow of prospects by doing this consistently. And keep in mind, they've got a ton of different mail letters available for you. It's not concentrating just on uh, one area of our space or not, because these, when you speak to some of the health benefits, it can bring about questions on um, other programs in the Medicare space, perhaps. When you speak to the final expense, it may go beyond final expense into life insurance too. We do have different programs too that can help you with responses that are already in play coming back uh, from a direct mail campaign that have not been touched. They vary in cost per area and per type, but it can be really helpful for you to fill in the space or make certain that we're not going without some type of constant activity in the area that you've chosen. Those Facebook leads, there's a, a play in both the final expense and the Medicare arena. This is what I mentioned before, however, where this is part of our microwave society. They come in quick, 
they want a quick response to. We do also have a really cool tool for folks that are comfortable with visiting people at their home without an appointment, door knockers. Can't do that in the Medicare Advantage and PDP space, but you can for MedSup, but you'll notice that this will identify people geographically when you're in an area that you can use to approach for final expense, um, med subs, dental programs. You want to do it for basically any aspect of our chosen endeavor here, the, the, the insurance space. This is going to give you the opportunity to identify people in a particular geographic area. This, much like the Medicare Center program and some of these other tools that I'm addressing, they're available without cost to contracted agents with our organization. In the words of J.J. Walker on TV that we're all probably a little sick of, and it's free. Hey, they got George Foreman saying that. So I guess it's the thing to do. Available without cost. Once again, some of the things that you have, not only with the sales process of asking for referrals and mining this space, you can do this now with going back to individuals that you dealt with in one area and say, hey, by the way, I do also offer uh, analysis in long-term care, in life insurance, in annuity programs to help you with your income. Visiting people that you visited with in the past with another approach can be a great lead source for you. And it keeps you in front of those people that you sold in the past, keeping your persistency high. You can, however, go back to the people that you didn't sell in a particular area, still may be part of your Bob, your book of business, and address other areas. Hey, are you comfortable, still comfortable with the choice that you made when we had our discussion back in June? Or, hey, did you know that I offer advice on long term care programs? Or, Who's your dentist? Some of the simple things that we talked about with <laughs> Columbo, with that one more question piece. We do this because we want your business across the board. We feel comfortable um, working with you as agents, since we may have been working with you in one space or another in the past and haven't in other areas. It's a great way for us to introduce you into additional means of growing your agency and your income. And if you work with us in these areas and you just need refreshers, well, we go to those sales teams that we talked about. They're available for you. And it's a great way for you to speak to some of your brethren and sistren, however you want to say that in our modern day. These guys are good to work with. Talk to them. We want referrals from you too. So part of what we're asking for and asking of you today is look at the overall space that you currently work in and what you may not and determine what might be a valuable area for you to use moving forward. Put it as part of your personal marketing plan. Doesn't matter the sales periods that are there or not, the contracting and certification that may be there or not. You may not have all that information. Plug in areas that you think you would want to expand your offering in, and let's put it in play now. Or as John Wayne said in the movie, The Cowboys, slap a piece of bacon in that biscuit, saddle up, let's ride, because we're burning daylight. Well, these are available for you now. So all that said and done, I want to check and make certain that we perhaps didn't miss a question. We're doing pretty good. We haven't. Um, and let you know that we will be following up to make certain that we can answer questions that you have, see if there are areas in which you can help us, or we can help you and you can help us. But you can reach us at our toll-free number, 1-800-365-8208. If you're currently working with a person in an area, um, obviously they're gonna help you in that space. If you have other areas, you can talk to anybody with Premier in outside of the uh, your current contracting or whatever it happens to be, you can reach us at 1-800-365-8208 or through our website at premiersmi.com or respond to the email. We'll send you 
and follow up to today's presentation. We want to be there for you and make the communication as easy as possible. But I also want to thank you. I mean, we're in a week right before Christmas, a few days. Some of us may be feeling as much stress as we did um, in an active enrollment period or whatever it happens to be. I thank you for spending part of that time with us here today. I also want to thank people that have done business with us. We really appreciate that and we thank you for it. For those of you that are considering doing business with us, either as a new agent to us or new to a particular area, I thank you for that too. So all that said and done, until we're able to visit with you one way or another, I wish you good selling. Thanks so very much. And we look forward to speaking with you very soon.